Hey guys, what's up? Blacker Bricks here, back with another video for Wild Wednesday. So today we're going to be looking at this cool new August slash September 2020 catalog that came from Lego. I just saw this in the mail today, and today's current date is, I believe, the 19th of August. So on the cover, you can see that they are uh, marketing the new Super Mario line. It says, start the adventure here. And they have the Super Mario logo at the top. And um, I'm just going to cover up all that stuff, I guess. But we have a AT or at, at, at the back, AT-AT. That's 1267 pieces and $159. And um, it appears to be like available for purchase now. I don't know if, uh, I think it's different now. So here we have a little uh, a little note actually. Um, I'm not gonna read the entire thing. I'll put it in plain sight so you guys can pause it if you'd like to. And um, yeah, that's it. Anyways, we have a, a little uh, meat Lego Mario uh, blurb over here. Uh, let me make sure there's not too much glare on that and I'll just zoom in a bit. So we just have some information. You got music and sounds, fun reactions, brick and color recognition, and then press to play. So some pretty cool features, actually. Um, I have not gotten my hands on one of these yet, but I look to pick one up in the near future. So here we have just some of the uh, features. We have the obvious, the, oh my God, I've said the too many times. Adventures with Mario Starter Course, which is 60 bucks, and this comes with 231 pieces. Now, I know the price to part ratio isn't the best, but it comes with some tech pieces and some large new pieces, such as these pipe pieces down here. Now, obviously, we got a ton of prints for, the, obviously, the flag, uh, Bowser Jr., Mario, Mystery Box, Goomba, just a ton of cool stuff. And this actually looks like it's going to be really fun to put together. Now we have some more stuff over here. Uh, we have the Desert Pokey expansions, expansion, expansion set over here, 180 pieces, 20 bucks. The Piranha Plant Power Slide expansion set, which is 30 bucks, and it comes with some of these green track. I'm not sure, actually. That might be the first time it's come out in that color. Then we got the Guarded Fortress expansion set up here, 50 bucks. Comes with Piranha Plant, some Koopa Troopa, Bob-omb. We got Womp's Lava Trouble expansion set. Love that. Looks awesome. Then we got some uh, bullet builds, or in this case, they're calling them Boomer Bill Barrage expansion set. I am not familiar with that name. Um, maybe they changed it. Then here we have Mario's House and Yoshi expansion set, which also looks pretty cool. And um, you can see that there's like little almost ghost Mario's because he doesn't come with a set, but you're supposed to have him to... Uh, do that stuff and we have the character packs which actually retail for uh which are supposed to retail for five dollars in the u.s uh, as you can see right up there but these have actually been found in target retailing for 3.99 so similar to how the minifigures were retailing for only um five bucks or rather 3.44 this cmfs at uh, walmart then we have the toad's treasure hunt expansion set which also looks pretty cool and don't mind the uh, ping pong paddles I have up there. It's just so the backdrop doesn't fall down. Then we have the Fire Mario Power Up Pack, and um, I gotta be honest with you, this this is a bit it's a bit frightening to see just like this. It's like a it's a hat and then just a pair of legs, which is sort of funny, sort of scary. So we got Fire Mario, Propeller Mario, then down here we got Cat Mario or Tanuki Mario, and then Builder Mario. So I said Mario way too many times in the minute there. <laughs> Anyways, this exciting set, which uh, I'm actually looking forward to purchasing probably, is the Bowser's Castle Boss Battle Expansion Set. It looks awesome, it really does. It's it has actually a decent price to part value, and it might even have a decent part out value. So I guess in conjunction with all of this stuff that's going on, we have the new NES, and I really appreciate what Lego has been doing with these interesting uh, stylistic backgrounds with the product. So we have some uh, other stuff going on in the backgrounds. So that's small design detail, but still um, appreciated. So this is a fairly large set, $230, uh, 2,600 pieces, ages 18 plus. They're really pushing that number there. Um, it definitely looks really, really good. This is amazingly accurate 
obviously um, it is Lego, so you know that they're always going to put their best foot forward. And this looks like it's going to sell very well. It already has been selling very well. I, I was sold out quite quickly. We got some uh, Friends sets. It looks like um, a lot of water-themed things, I guess, because it's summer. Uh, we got a City Park Cafe, Beach House, Party Boat, Water Park. And uh, this one actually caught my eye because look at that. It has some cool little tubes. Now, I, I see quite a few different uses for that. Obviously, Water Park use, but I don't know. Maybe you can do some marble runs and stuff like that. We got some uh, dots. I guess this is the second wave. We got Series 2 dots, which I picked up quite a while ago. The Desk Organizer, Go Team Bracelet, Power Bracelet, and Magic Forest Bracelet. Cool names. Then we got the Harry Potter sets, which I am quite excited for, as you can probably just hear from my voice. We got the Hogwarts Astronomy Tower up top. The Hogwarts Room of Requirement, which comes with two of these new little characters, the little uh, see-through guys. The uh, Hogwarts Student Accessories set. And we got even more, another whole page. We got Hedwig, which uh, Barnes & Noble seems to be uh, pushing as, I think, even exclusive. This has a fantastic part of value. Um, if this goes on sale, even even regardless, it seems like this would uh, part out very well. It's 630 pieces for only 40 bucks, so that is very tempting. And we got Privet Drive, or for Privet Drive, which um, is going to be 70 bucks, 797 pieces. And I think we have just another one of the car. I slipping my mind right now the exact model of the car but i think it's the exact same one that came with the other hogwarts expansion the very first one then we have the attack on the burrow which is fairly large 1000 pieces some interesting techniques actually over there i i know a lot of uh, mock builders use it but that seems to be an illegal technique to me it just starts showing up like that so that's kind of cool and uh then we finally got the forbidden forest Umbridge's encounter. I think that is the first time we've gotten her gotten the first time we got her outside of the minifigure pack that was a Toys R Us or Barnes and Nobles exclusive. Now we got some creator sets over here, Space Rover Explorer on top, and Caravan Family Holiday. It feels like Lego really, really loves making caravans because they have made quite a few. Now we have the art line. Now I was definitely extremely excited for this um, i'm just gonna turn my camera real quick because it's too good not to show you guys because i actually have my mosaic just sitting down here let me just point it down <laughs> so that was a mosaic i designed on my face quite a while ago this was a uh, for a school project actually we had to draw ourselves and at that point i wasn't really too comfortable drawing myself so i decided to make it out of lego instead and yeah, I think this has a lot of potential. I want to see where they go with this. Maybe uh, we'll see a, a rise in custom mosaics and stuff. And I might get to work and build a couple more. So this is 120 bucks, 3,000 pieces. I know that might sound like a lot, but they're just studs. So mm, I don't know how well this will sell if you part out. Regardless, it is a very, very attractive set. And I'm sure it will sell very well. Interestingly enough, they don't have uh, more of the mosaics or the art line. They just jump right into Marvel. Here we have the Iron Man helmet, which many people said doesn't look the best. Uh, I have mixed feelings about it. I'm not the biggest Iron Man fan, but it certainly does look somewhat cool. We have the Iron Man Hulkbuster, which feels like the 10th Hulkbuster we've gotten in the last couple years. The Avengers Tower Battle, which does look fantastic, comes with great minifigures. The Iron Man Armory. Another cool set. And then it looks like we're jumping into DC now. The 1989 Batmobile, which in hindsight, I really regret not purchasing when it came out because it came with that little exclusive uh, purchase. Now I feel like I'm just going to wait till it goes on a Black Friday sale, probably next year. But who knows? We also have the Wonder Woman vs. Cheetah set, which has also also which has also been released previously. Now here we have the mobile Bat Base. Bat Boat, The Penguin Pursuit, and Joker Trike, Sa Trike Chase, which are all new sets. Now, this down here is a 4-plus set. This looks like a 4-plus set. I don't know. It doesn't look like some of the other sets they make. It says that it's 6-plus, so I'm not sure. It might be somewhere in between. And then the mobile Bat Base up top actually looks pretty good. Interesting. 
It seems like the uh, Mr. Freeze they're using here looks almost identical to some of the ones they used to create back in the day. I'm going to zoom out. <clears throat> now we have a couple more things. Uh, we have the Ford Mustang. Sorry, I think I distracted. And the Crocodile Locomotive. Um, I'm actually definitely going to pick this one up. Uh, I really want to add this to my city and just see how it turns out. Now, down here, they have this uh, little QR code, and I don't even know what's going on here. <laughs> Looks like someone, like, smeared it. I honestly have no clue. Maybe it's supposed to be tire tracks or track marks or something. We have a couple more sets down there. We have the James Bond Aston Martin, the Harley Davidson Fat Boy, the Fiat 500. And speaking of the Fiat 500, it, it, it seems that they're going to create a Coliseum to go with that soon. And the London bus. Now we are still only halfway through this. We have the Old Trafford Manchester United. An interesting set. I I don't know. I have kind of mixed feelings about this one. I am not a big football fan. Or I guess soccer, whichever one you want to call it. Uh, it. It's interesting. It's an interesting set. I don't know. The scale is really strange. Like, it's not minifigure scale. And I don't know how good of a display piece it is because it's not so recognizable that someone sees it and like, wow, that's some great piece, right? And it is fairly expensive as well. So I'm not sure if I'm going to pick that up. On the other hand, the Haunted House has a fantastic stylistic look to it. It is attractive, good display piece, and... Since Halloween is on its way, I think I might pick this up. Now here we have some modulars. Very, very fantastic. From uh, the top left, we have the Corner Garage, the Assembly Square, Bookshop, and Downtown Diner. Now, I have heard rumors that the Downtown Diner is retiring this year. Hopefully it will go on sale, similar to the Parisian restaurant. Um, I remember last year I got it for about 112 so that was cool. Here we have the Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse buildable characters. <clears throat> now, this is another pair of interesting uh, builds. I I don't really see what they're going for with this one. $180 seems very, very steep for such a build. And I'm not sure if that's for me. Um, here, then, we have the uh, Lamborghini Scion FKP. Another pretty attractive set to me just a beautiful beautiful car and a fantastic design by lego they just outdo themselves with these sports cars really do then we got dom's dodge charger the concrete mixer truck and the articulated hauler which i believe were for sale on zavi or some other site like that um now we have chevrolet corvette zr1 the ducati Panigale or Panigale, I don't know. V4R, the 4x4 Extreme Off-Roader, which seems ridiculously overpriced. $250 for that tiny little truck. I guess it's cool because it has all these controls and everything, but that's really expensive. And we have the Stunt Show truck and bike down there. And looks like we just have one monkey kid. Did I skip a... Nope, I didn't skip a page. Looks like they just have one single page with Monkey Kid. <laughs> Very weird. Um, this is the Flaming Foundry. This is a new set. 140 bucks. 14 set... 1427 pieces. Ages 9 plus. And um, some interesting minifigures as well. I'll zoom in on those since I mentioned them. Roar and Growl seem to be the names of the villains. Now some architecture sets, the uh, White House, Tokyo, and Dubai. Uh, the White House looks really cool, actually. Um, hmm, wow. That little flag piece up there, the American flag, I'm not sure uh, if they've made that before, but that will be a useful piece if uh, I actually end up making my school. Now we have some great ideas. <laughs> <laughs> the International Space Station, the Pirates of Paracuta Bay, and the Grand Piano. Now, this picture over here is something we've never seen before. Um, this is from a completely different angle. Looks like it's very bright lights, and you can see that the pieces are extremely reflective in this image. Um, almost uh, extremely so. Till now, mainly the picture I have seen is the one with the black background and the... Uh, the low reflection so this is very strange that they use this picture 
Now, I guess we just have some uh, info on this page that is so out of focus. Um, looks like they're just talking about some uh, benefits from buying from Lego. And obviously, we have the VIP program. I encourage any of you guys that are avid Lego buyers or someone that shops on this website to join. It's completely free. There's no real catch. Um, you get money back. So that's cool. Now we have some uh, Ninjago sets. We got the new Golden Zane minifigure accessory set, which comes with three Ninjroids from season uh, three or four, whatever you want to call it, and Golden Zane. We got Spinjitsu Burst Coal. Seems like they're always coming up with new Spinjitsu uh, things for the ninja. And we have the Skull Sorcerer Dragon, which just looks absolutely insane in a good way. And just looking at these sets just at a glance, they have amazing price to part ratios so perhaps even good uh, part out values because they come with a ton of minifigures this one is 80 dollars comes with 1000 pieces and six minifigures which looks cool and then over here we have the skull sorcerer dungeon which they could have easily charged 120 dollars for but they kept it at 100 for 1171 pieces another fantastic decision and it comes with uh eight figures cool 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 then we got the zane's uh mino or mino creature which is 616 pieces for 50 bucks and also comes with four minifigures finally we got some <laughs> star wars sets uh, all of which will probably be sold out very quickly the anakin's jedi interceptor the legendary legendary 501st clone troopers battle pack which who knows if it'll even be <laughs> available in stores uh, anytime soon the knights of ran transport ship um general grievous's starfighter and the armored the armored assault tank which i will probably pick up just to see how much it goes up in value then we got the mandalorian and the child the death star final duel the resistance um it6 or its transport the Bespin Duel, which is $40 for an interesting um, little display, I guess. Here we have Stormtrooper Helmet and TIE Fighter Pilot Helmet. And um, interestingly enough, they left out uh, Boba Fett. Uh, I don't know why that is. Maybe there was they were trying to fit just two on this page. Uh, not sure. I guess we have the A-Wing Starfighter, and that's it for this August-September 2020 catalog. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. If there are any sets you want me to pick up, if there are any sets you guys are looking to pick up, and I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.